Greetings to all subscribers and guests of my channel. In this episode we will talk about the strictest Russian prison with the unofficial name of Polar Owl. Polar Owl Prison is one of the most terrible penitentiaries in the Russian Federation. Prisoners who have committed particularly grave crimes and those sentenced to life imprisonment are imprisoned here. The penal colony is located above the Arctic Circle, so the criminals have to constantly stay in the brutal conditions of the far north. Not surprisingly, the life expectancy of convicts here is usually short. The Polar Owl is a unit capable of functioning autonomously for long periods of time. In order for the inmates to provide for their everyday life, the colony has built its own communal facilities, such as a boiler house, diesel power plant, carpentry and lathe shop, sewing shop, cinder block and crushed stone production areas. The inmates of Polar Owl are the most dangerous criminals who have committed crimes of particular gravity and vicious repeat offenders. Behind the walls of the colony sit maniacs, serial killers, vicious repeat offenders, organizers of militant groups and terrorists. Along with them in the penal colony are former police officers, who have shown inhuman cruelty to detainees, tortured suspects during interrogations or even killed them. The detainees are provided with the most minimal conditions of existence. They live in single or double cells with a bed, a small closet, a shelf, a table, a water tank, a toilet and a coat rack. Inmates are allowed to lie down or sit on the bed strictly after lights out. Communication with each other is allowed only in whispers. Any commands from the guards are to be answered with the words, yes, citizen warden. Prisoners are only allowed to take a bath once a week for 10 minutes. Each prisoner has 1 hour and 30 minutes for a daily walk. There is a small room with high concrete walls and bars instead of a roof through which inmates can see the sky. The handcuffs are removed from the prisoner through a special window only after the offender has been placed in room. The state allocates 49 rubles per day for food for each inmate of Polarne Owl. Meals in the colony are three times a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. The menu includes a standard set of dishes accepted in most Russian prisons, porridges of different kinds of cereals cooked with water, cabbage soup, pasta, bread, cutlets, tea and compote. The detainees are forbidden to engage in creative work and amateur activities. Here they are not allowed to compose poems, draw or simply write down their thoughts. There is a library for criminals, in which there is no fiction. On the shelves among the books you can see only philosophical and religious treatises. The available entertainment is listening to the radio and watching television once a week. At the same time, the films screened are carefully selected by the prison administration. The guards have the right to send an inmate to the penal enclosure for one, two, or three days for any minor infraction or breach of regime. Also, if during a search in the cell any prohibited item was found in the inmate's cell, its owner will be sent to a punishment cell. However, according to Russian law, his stay there should not exceed 15 days. Prisoners serving a life sentence may see their relatives only once a year during a short visit. In order to get a visit to a prisoner, relatives must make an appointment and draw up an application according to a sample which can be obtained directly in the colony.